Hey everyone, Michelle Fixit here. Today is August 1st, 2023, and we are putting all of our stuff in little containers. I kept it on warm, uh, and he does not want anything right now. So, we are going to container it up. I've got little containers, my little gravity guy. And I'm just parceling it off so that way this will be lunch for us in addition to our salads and then lunch for dad and then tonight I will cook something else. And it was super yummy last night, just so you guys know. <clears throat> and what I may do, because I'm leaning towards making like a chicken noodle casserole for tonight, is I'm probably going to reserve the juices for this and add it into the chicken stuff for tonight for extra flavor. And I'll probably just use it to brown up the chicken and stuff. As you guys may maybe don't know this, but like a long, long time ago, when we didn't have the magic stoves with the gas or the electric, um, and everything was fire done, they would have like a pot, which is why like there's some song where it's like peas porridge three days old and it's because they literally would live off of a more of a soupy diet and they would just throw stuff in the pot cook it and because it was continuously hot um, it didn't spoil and everything so you just go over to the fireplace which had a pot hanging and you would grab what you want and then if you were able to secure some meat or vegetables or whatever it was for the day then you would add that into it cook it and it was kind of like you never knew what you were going to get because it was based off of what you were able to acquire that day. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you guys because a lot of like our nursery rhymes have an origin. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head that don't have an origin. And it was like a folklore way of talking and sharing stories and, or singing and sharing stories. And that's not just I mean, that's an American thing. That's that's an everywhere thing. Vikings did it. They had songs. Everyone has songs and heritage. And it gets passed down gener by generation to generation. There's songs. There's stories. And songs used to be the most common way. Ooh, I'm kind of making it for this one. I don't like that so much stuff. I thought I was going to have an abundance. This is typically what I do anyway, so if I make something for dinner, I overcook, so that way that's leftovers for the next day, so you can have yummy bites. And I'll steal a little bit from here. And yes, I am the terrible person that puts the meat on the bottom so that way the children will eat the top stuff. And Charlie really enjoyed it. Oh, that was not good. Now we have these guys set up.
and then I'm going to get a receptacle for the juices for tonight. quickly run out of spaces to do things. All right. <clears throat> and this hotel does not have all the space that the other one did. So I saw boxes down there. And I'm going to lock this stuff. Maybe this will be the only first. dishes in the sink and a bathroom. Fill the sink up with water. And the bubbles. And that way you can still pre-soak. Pre-soaking is good. I'm trying to be fast about this so that way I can get out of here. We are interfering with the ads too so I'm trying to be curious. But if you are going to do this, make sure that you have a little hole right there. The water to come out. The water to come out. And if not, you're going to end up with a big mess. with washcloths and I really think that's gross because like if you don't have a little scrubby to scrub stuff off like your dishes will be dirty so if you don't have a dishwasher you have to know how to adequately wash your dishes and you should be doing multiple passes on each thing you should be feeling the texture of them while you're washing them to make sure that you don't have anything in there. Mm 
Well, if you can't feel it, then you need to be visually inspecting it continuously. Especially baby bottles and stuff. I talk to husband Ken and he's like, the next time I go on travel, I'm going to get one of those and like, cook. I'm going to the dollar tree. Like, he's learning some little things because a lot of people don't realize that like, it's not that expensive to go and prepare the things. Like, you can also just like, you don't have to buy stuff new. You can go to the, um, the thrift store and pick up plates and bowls and stuff there. I looked at that and at least in Virginia Beach, it was cheaper for me to just do the purchase, but at that time, the little box of dishes from Target, it was like $20, and now they're $25 because, you know, inflation, everything's just getting more and more expensive. Um, so when it was $20 bucks for that instead of $25, whatever, it worked. And like if you know some, uh, you know, a new person that is getting out on their own, like whether it's divorce or they're, you know, a young adult, or they need to make hold all their stuff, like you <clears throat> you can adequately get pretty decent things to start up a new home at the Dollar Tree and um, Target. You don't have to always buy the fanciest or the fancy thing. I mean if your economic situation says that like it's fine for you to buy more expensive things when you're first starting off, then like more power to you, go for it. Um, but a lot of individuals, it's just not that way because they need to reserve their money for other things. And so you can get essentially in their household without spending tons and tons of money. Just my advice as someone that has moved all over the place. And normally, I mean, I was fortunate enough to build up a lot of really nice furnishings for my home and decor and everything. And when my life blew up, I ended up selling all of my stuff because I was convinced by others that that would be the best thing to do, and I really regret that. But um, if you're starting off, just get what's essential, and as you need things, if your situation changes, or you know, if you're investing in doing investiture in a business, then you know, get quality things, um, but just get the basics first. And donate and itemize when you donate. I cannot stress that enough. You will make me go bonkers if you're not doing that. It makes so much financial sense. Everyone gets grumpy with large corporations to play in the tax game, but if you actually sit down and read the tax laws, it's not that complicated. They try to overly explain everything you can and can't do. And if you make a boo boo, and you save your own money, make sure you always have a backup. So you can just do an amended return. The X forms that exist for a reason. Like, I don't claim everything that you can claim every day. I get a suburban money, I don't do rollovers. I, I'm entitled to rollovers every year, but I do that because if you ever get audited and you say, hey, you owe this money, it's like, okay, well, here's my amended return because I have X amount of my money that I didn't claim in you. And yeah, some people would be like frustrated with that because I'm not rolling it over into the next year, but as of right now, it works for us. And it gives me a backup plan and a safety plan because I'm all about backups and safety. I'm never just gonna have one plan. Having one plan is how you end up having your life for us. I, I don't have to learn my lesson twice. <laughs> no proof, no. I learned a lesson one time, and that's it. And if it starts to feel like it's another situation, the one that I've already done, I'm going to make sure that I adjust my life accordingly. Look, we have a random potato. Bye bye, potato. This guy is super. 
you can wash dishes and then that would be active. And don't use the scrubby, scrubby part on this because it does have the coating and you don't want to mess that up. I mean, you can use it on the outside. And if you want to do food safety standards when you wash your stuff, super hot water. And then you have to have a toad and do bleach to water and then submerge it. You can leave it there for a little bit. I can't remember the specific amount of time at present time. Um, but that way you can sanitize. So that's what we have to do with the takers.
Hello. <laughs> all right, so we are done with all of our stuff. And I'm just sorting out a couple of the little details. <sighs> That's it. Everything is clean. Even though somebody is going to say that it's not clean. But I'm going to say, you know what? Why don't you come to this past moment and do it for me then? All right, I'm gonna back up the trash. Uh, does not wash the other guys. All right, I'm gonna get the cooler and put some ice in it, and then we're gonna be heading out of here. That's it. You guys have a fantastic day. Hopefully, you're enjoying your time in a hotel, and you don't wanna want to spend bunches of money on food that you may or may not like, that may or may not upset your tummy, you can just get one of the electric walk things. Because really and truly, like if we went to a restaurant just like one time, I'm pretty sure it would cost the amount of money that I've spent just on essentials. And then it's food after that and it's always cheaper. It's typically cheaper when you make your own food. Very few situations where it's not. So you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.